Valley here from Greenwood. Today we're going to be looking at MC4 connections and their relevance on commercial solar systems. So strap yourself in. We're going to be crimping, we're going to be cutting, and we're going to look at the right way and the wrong way to do things. Let's get into it. When it comes to commercial solar, we are talking about very high DC voltages and it's incredibly important that the connections you make on the solar DC cable are correct. So the first thing we're going to do is start off looking at the actual MC4 connectors. Now inside this little package, very convenient, we have two things. We have the female connector and the male connector. And you can see that they actually join together like this. And click in. Now, as important, we have two inserts. Now, here's a bit that is vital to remember. The male MC4 connector goes with the female insert. Now you can see the insert here. It's hollow. And you can see the little tab here. So that, first of all, put to one side, they're a pair. Now the female MC4 connector goes with the male insert. And you can see male insert there. Now, if I put these together, you can see how far the male goes into the female. Sort of about halfway. It's quite a firm fit. That's how they should end up internally. Okay, so reiterate, male MC4, female insert, female MC4, male insert. Now we're going to have a look at the actual cable. In this case we're using a 6mm cable. Um, a lot of our uh, commercial solar um, projects involve very long DC runs, so of course volt drop is an issue and also the current carrying capacity of the cable comes into play as well. So here we have, we're using, this is a 6mm cable here. It's a 6mm twin. So I've cut the cable and it was quite, it's quite a robust cable, it's pretty hard to get through and now I need to strip the insulation. So, I come here, click. Now, this is pretty tough stuff. So you can see that was quite a bit of effort. With 4mm cables a lot easier. Now this is one method and we're going to try another one. So with these particular cable strippers, you can see the action. Cable goes in here, presses down, separates. Press down, separates. Now I will Now you can see I've cut probably 10, 11 mil. And I place it in here. Making sure that there are no strands. Now notice how I have left maybe half a mil between the insulation and the actual tabs. Now I can't go any, in any further and where it crimps down is effectively here. You don't want to make this too long at all, because if you do, you'll have to cut it. So I've got the male insert, which goes into the female MC4. 
The next step is to actually make the crimp. Now here's the crimper that I'm using. It came from the same kit where I purchased these. Now remember, I'm using six mil cable for this. So I don't know if you can see, if I turn this crimper over, there's some lettering along here. From 2.54 to six mil. So I'm gonna use a six mil. So intuitively, you want to place it in like that because it seems to fit quite well. But that's not the right way. What you have to do is come around and place it like that. And then hold it in position. See how it's hold, held in position like that. And then place the cable. I'll close it a little bit. See how I've closed it up? You place the actual cable inside, slide it in. Notice how it's not all the way, I've got a little bit left over. I don't want the insulation being crimped. Then I bring it down firmly, all the way, all the way. As you can see, I completely close the handle. And then release, then come. So what happens here is that it crimps down on to the actual strand, this multi-strand solid DC cable that's tin. With this cable, what you don't do is twist it. Now, some people, when they actually take the insulation off and they use a pair of pliers, they twist the insulation, and this actually twists the strands. Now, the rule of thumb is, if this is not twisted in the first place, don't twist it. This crimp has to sit down on the cables. When you start twisting the, the, the strands within the cable, it actually increases in diameter, and when you come down on the crimp, you can break some individual strands. So it's very important, okay, not to twist this cable. So remember again, I'll reiterate, female MC4 connector, male, insert. So what I tend to do is take this end off. I like to see what's inside, make sure it's all intact. There should be a, a rubber grommet, seal it. That maintains its high IP rate. And remember, these are outdoor rated. Right? Now, it's very important that this seats correctly. So, put it into the female and then push and wait for the click. Did you hear that click? That means it's seated in correctly. And then I'll just do that up lightly for now. Okay, well, that's that out of the way. So it's very important to make sure you hear that click. Now let's let, repeat the process for the male MC4 and the female insert, and you can see. I'll show the camera up there. I can go all the way through on that. Now here's, here's the thing, don't make this cable too long because technically you can push it in, you can go all the way. But remember this male insert from the female goes in. And what has happened in the past, people have made these, this stripped section too long and then this comes in and it pushes against there. And that becomes a hot, that can become potentially a hot spot, it doesn't seat properly in there. You don't want to have any Im impediment to the male insert going into the female insert, okay? So, put that away. Back rip. And can you see here, and I'll bring it a little bit closer to the camera, can you see how how the crimp is working, it's actually coming down into like an M, so it's compressing. This is why it's important that the cable has not been twisted and effectively lays flat inside the crimp, right? And then it's ready to go. So next step. We are, t we are talking high voltages going 
through these cables. Um, on some solar farms, you're talking way over a thousand volts. On the majority of commercial solar systems roof mount, you were talking you know, 850 uh, voltage at maximum power point continuously flowing through these cables. Um, yeah, it's really important, incredibly important to uh, make sure you do the connections right. Now, we haven't finished yet. We've seated these. These have both been seated. But notice how I've just partially done them up. Now we have to pull out a couple of extra tools um, to tighten these. We place the first one over here. Now this one, this one was quite firm, so it's quite firm fit. And then we take the second one. And we basically, in a clockwise direction, do them up. Now they start, obviously starts getting to a certain point. Now you'll be, there's an indication of that you've gone just far enough. It's nearly there. Okay, a bit more. There we go. When you hear that sound, that is at the point where they're done up tight. Now remember there's, there's rubber grommets, rubber seals in there. If you tighten past that point, you can compromise that seal and therefore compromise the IP rating of these. Suddenly they don't have an outdoor waterproof rating. So be very careful you don't over tighten them. Let's repeat with the female MC4 that has a male insert. Now they're complete. So what happens here now is we connect them together. Now this is really important as well. And this is where the distance of the female insert inside the male MC4 is really important because we want the male insert to seat really well inside. So we click them together. Hopefully we've done the right job. You can see there's a little seal here. And there, they're not going anywhere. And they shouldn't. A couple of really important points. Bending radiuses of cable. You see this in a lot of jobs where people have bent them like this. Don't do that. You'll start breaking strands and you've gone past the bending radius of this six mil cable. Rule of thumb is allow at least 30 millimetres outside the actual end of the MC4 before you start bending. See, that's acceptable. Let's see, that's acceptable. Now, if you ever need to bring, take these apart, is this tool, see here, basically it presses down those two tabs and apart. Let's talk a little bit about the actual MC4 connectors themselves. It's always a case of like with like, that's part of the, the, the standards. Uh, these particular um, MC, MC4 connectors are rated at 30 amp and 1500 volts, so they can be used on a solar farm. Now, if you are using them on a solar farm, you have to make sure that your DC cable is also rated for up to 1500 volts. You can't use 1000 volt rated cable with a 1500 volt rated MC4. Now, MC4s are capable, in, in the case of commercial solar, four mil and six mil. When you start using a uh, larger um, DC cable, you have to use a, a different method of connections. So let's go over the tools one more time. The first tool, and I briefly looked at this, something to cut the cable. Then, something to strip the cable. Then, something to crimp the cable. So one of the issues on site with commercial solar when it comes to solar DC cable is in a lot of cases you're using two different sized cables. Uh, four mil, you can see that there, and six mil. They're pretty similar, but I don't know if you can see <clears throat> The difference there, if I put them together, 
obviously the six mil is a little bit off. So check the cable, always check the cable. If you have to use four mil for a particular application, check that it's four mil. If you have to use six, check that it's six. I'll just hold this up to the camera, you can see the difference in the diameter. It's cons there's a considerable difference, but when you haven't got them together and you're getting tired on site and they're, they're coming together in twin, it can be deceptive. So you can see the two cables here together in their twin configuration. Um, so there's the four mil here and I put them together and there's the six mil. And you can see it's, yeah, there's a noticeable difference. But when you're tired on site, <laughs> make sure, okay? A good test is to see how easily they cut. Now, with these cheap pliers, I can go through the formula twin quite easily. One go. With the six mil, <laughs> a bit harder with these. Excellent. Thanks so much for watching our presentation on MC4 Connectors. I'm Valley from Greenwood Solutions. If you've got any inquiries, any questions, any answers, uh, feel free to get in contact with us and see you next time.